Okay, here's something I never understand about Japan. People are totally oblivious of no parking your bicycle signs. This sign says no parking your bicycle. Ever, ever, ever. We will take it away. And of course everybody responds to that by not parking their bikes, right? Wrong. That's right, you're not allowed to park your bicycle here. And it's illegal to park your bicycle here. And definitely don't park your bicycle here because if you park your bicycle here, we will put a little sign on it saying, we're going to take your bicycle away. Which, of course, they never do. See, that's marked today. And someone will come along and take away their bicycle tonight and throw away the orange paper on the floor. And nothing will be, ever be done. And you're not allowed to park your bicycles here either. Oh, and by the way, you're not allowed to park your bicycles here for sure. And really don't park your bicycles here. No, no, because you'll get a little orange piece of paper on it. No, no, you don't want to park your bicycles here, ever. And uh, here too, no, no parking, no parking. Please don't leave your bicycles here. And we don't want to park your bicycles here either. This is not allowed, it's definitely against the rules. That's right, all the way between that sign and that sign. Definitely don't park your bicycles here. But you know what's really irritating? Is on the other side of the road here, about two meters away, there is an official place to park your bicycles. These people pay money to park their bicycles here. That's right. That is something this guy is paying for April and March and February before that. So these people here park and pay, but these people here don't. And these people over the side do not ever get anything done. Here's a couple more guys looking for a parking spot. So then you walk down here a little bit. And here is another, literally six or seven meters away, there's another official parking spot. And this, of course, no parking area for anywhere in this pink area. Your bicycles will be taken away. It's 2,000 yen to get your bike back from the pound and 4,000 yen to get your motorcycle back. And the last time they took things away was the 21st of March. So they even warn you when they're going to take things away and how long you've got to get it. And that's where you go to get your bike back. But obviously there's so many bicycles parked here that I guess they don't have the band power or they just don't care. So these people here, again, nice and legal. They're paying to put their bicycles here. Well, some of them are. You know, some of them just take advantage and oh, they, they don't pay. And they get this sign on there, which was actually yesterday. They didn't come back yet till today, so the chances are that the bike will never be taken away anyway, so why bother paying? Right, exactly. So there you go. You can park your bikes here. Now another funny thing is that people used to park their bikes over here. But people complained that it was in the way, and it disturbed the places where they would walk. So they put up these cones, of course, which means that people can't park their bicycles there anymore. Of course they can't walk there anymore, because there's cones there. What's the point? What is the point? And just to rub it in, over the road there. Let's go over the road, shall we? Yep. In the middle of the road here, we have an official motorcycle parking area, which people pay for. Well, in the, in the main, people pay to park their bikes there. And then over here, we have an official bicycle parking area. And you can go in there and you can park your bikes again for a monthly fee. And that's literally 15 meters away from that place where all the other bikes are parked. And then just outside here, yeah, it's a bit windy, isn't it? Just outside here, here we go, we have a don't park your bicycles here again. But there you go, 10 yards, maybe like 7 or 8 yards away. orange little bits of paper on saying don't park your bikes here so there you go that's the story of why everybody in Japan parks their bikes literally anywhere they want to and once in a while just once in a while the bike gets taken away maybe once a year or once in two years you lose your bike you have to pay 2,000 yen to get it back meanwhile it costs you Three or four hundred yen a month, I don't know, to pay this. So they, you know, people take their 
take the risk because they know that even if the bike's taken away, they know where to get it and how much they're going to have to pay to get it back. So there you go. Isn't that bloody irritating?